Hey guys, it's Wraith Calling. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Today we're looking at the Object 140 Tier 10 Russian Medium Tank on Fisherman's Bay. And this is War. This is the game where you kill them all and let God sort them out. And I've been playing a lot of Russian tanks lately because I finally unlocked the Motherland. In case you haven't been stopped by the Facebook page. I put a quick snapshot up the other day. And I'll get to that uh, tank a little later on. But today we got some stuff to do. So the 140 has one of three tier 10 Russian medium tanks. Yes, there's no Russian bias. They have three tier 10 tanks. Um, three tier 10 medium tanks. We're going to take a snapshot. The RU-251 tier 8 German light tank. They're very quick. Good gun. And we're going to keep him honest. Hopefully that will keep him from poking up the ridge line again. And we're going to back back off because we did get spotted. We see there's a Yagaru back there. We don't want to get spotted and beat up by anybody else. So over here where our friendly 140 and T-62 are at is a spot you can sit and be mostly hold down. This is a good spot for us to be. If you're in any low profile medium tank with gun depression of any kind, this is a good spot for you to sit. You can be mostly hold down. You see I bounce one there off the upper plate. You can spot anybody going into the village. You can get side shots on a lot of them going into the village. And here comes a heavy tank. It is going to be the E100. And put one into him. Ammo rack him. Force me to use repair kits. We get two shots in on him. Third gets tracked. And I'm not going to get any else in on him. I'm a little worried about sitting here though. Because we are kind of exposed with artillery. So I got a feeling he's going to be taking a shot here for too long. Because what already does not like shooting at medium tanks. And he might also got too much angle. He puts a shot in. And there's the artillery. Of course, just like I called it, so I'm going to back off, get unspotted, and I look at the map and I realize on the other side over here, there's a Carnarvon pushing up, and all he's doing is spotting everybody sitting back there behind us. So I'm going to push up and get a shot in on the tracking shot, which I'll take the tracking shot. He gets hit real hard by something big, probably one of the tier 10 tank destroyers, picked off. And I'm going to come push up back this way and try to get some spotting in. So our guys back there can do some work. I bounce a shot. I'm not sure what that one was. The little RU is back again. He's a little further back though. There's a T110E5. See if I can't get a shot. The Russian guns are good, but they're not. They're okay at long range. They're more short, medium range guns, close engagements. And I'm keep firing at him. He's going to give me the side of his turret, but I'm not getting any hits. Of course, if he goes side on to me, I planted a quick little snapshot in him. I'll take the blind fire shot. I got enough ammo, I don't have to worry running out of ammo. There is Le Batchat, tier 10 French medium tank, very fast, very nasty gun, not a lot of armor. And ooh, the back of the U5. We'll put some rounds in the back of the T110E5. He's not paying attention, he's kind of stuck. And I might be able to get the killing shot. No, it's sailed over the back of this tank. Eh, silly Russian guns. So I'm going to stay here, I'm going to move Try to get spotted again by the light tank. I'm going to try to maneuver, get unspotted, back away from a little bit. Because I wasn't sure if he proximity spotted me or not. So I want to get some distance from him. And I'm going to push up here. Try to stay in the bushes. I don't really want to be spotted. But i got to give my guy something to shoot at. Our light tank has wandered off somewhere. He's back behind us, not being very productive from where he's at. So I'm going to push up and see what I can see. I'm in this bush. As long as I don't fire and they're back there, I should be okay. So I don't want to cross in this open field. We'll see. Like the T-54 there making a run up the hill. E-75 gets a big hit. So there's another enemy object, 140. And it's just me and the light tank. So I'm not feeling real brave. I'm not going to push that hard. I'm just going to kind of wait and see what pops up. I'm looking for tank destroyers back there by those houses firing at our guys. And here in just a moment, we're going to start the rush process. There's the bat chat. He's making a run for it and moving to speed. You can see he scoots along pretty good. I do get a shot in on him. And that's all I'm going to do. He's going to duck behind the hill where I can't get a shot. Look up, and there is. I can't see what that tank destroyer is. I think about moving in on an E75, and then I look over and notice that uh, our guy in the center has got two tanks on him. And those were all. Higher chill medium. So I'm going to try to finish off the E75 real quick. And get his gun out of the game. Take the kill. It was safe from where I was sitting from the tank destroyer. Now I'm going to move back. And see if I can't get back. Yep, there's T62. R262, he's outnumbered. I don't want to leave him alone. If we move that center section, we're going to be in trouble. Because they'll be able to have size shots and we'll murder everybody on this row. 
So I'm going to come back and support him. See what I can do to help. There's the T-54. I'm not quite sure where the shot... I'm not quite sure where the shot went. And then I realized I hit the dirt because he's not completely exposed. I'm going to try to track him. Now anybody else that he's exposed, he's been tracked. Anybody that can hit him now, I'll get points for. Untrack, I retrack him again. I'm going to pin him there. And every time he gets hit, I get points for it. And I've been ammo racked, but I've always already used my repair kit early to repair my tracks. So I'm not feeling very confident. Uh, just because I've been hitting the ammo rack does not mean I cannot still be productive in this game. I can still spot. I'm still fast. I can still threaten a flank. And I can still get shots off. Um, I've got a good rate of fire, so this now makes it a crappy rate of fire. But I can still be useful, and you'll see. I'm still spotting targets. T62A, I know I've got one loaded. I can hit him. I can kill him with one hit. I take one in the back from somebody. I'm not sure who hit me. There he is. Already picks him off before I can get to him. And we won the 1 2 line, so those guys will be start pushing around here for this game is all over. It's the end game. Uh, unless somebody puts down there, puts on their man pants, and goes epic man mode, this is about over. Uh, T110 E5, I put one into him, bounced off his upper plate. Kind of an odd angle. And there's the Yeageru. i got to worry about the Yeageru. Uh, and I'm take one more shot here, and I'm going to relocate. He's going to go back there. I won't be able to penetrate his hull from the front very well. It's not going to be an easy shot, and I don't have the reload to sit here and trade shots with him now. I realize my T62 buddy over there is making a push. I'm going to go support him. I'm trying to see if I can get some quick shots in on anybody. And not seeing anything useful. Yeah, they're all behind that buildings there. I try to sneak one through the window, which you can do. Uh, just not with this gun, apparently. Uh, so T-54E1 is making a rush. Tier 9 American medium tank with a big auto-loading gun. There's our Death Star, and we're going to push. I figure between the two of us, I'm not going to penetrate a hold on Yeageru. He misses his shot. I'm push all the way down there, try to get unspotted. As we begin our turn in, the T-54 is going to come at him from one way. I'm coming from another, and there's the Yeageru, There's The Death Star is coming up on the Yeageru as well. So we should be able to clean him up. I'm going to go behind him. Yeageru gets him. Coming around a corner, and I know I can get some back shots. The bat shot's not even looking at me. Finish him off with a snapshot. And I realize the mouse is there, and I'm going to come up and put myself behind the mouse. I can penetrate if I can get this and steal this one last kill. And that's it. That's game. Pretty good game into 140. Our team did well. And we support each other, moved when we needed to. Um, and we'll take a look at the final results here. And you will see we got. This is my times two for the day. Four kills, 4.2k damage, 2.8 spotting damage, 15 penetrations. I'll take it. That's a good game. And even though it was a good game, it's not a great game because this was not a mastery game. This is only second class mastery. But overall, I had a number of games like this in the 140, so I'm just going to show you this one. And top of the team, 1500 base XP. A very good game. I'll take games like this any day of the week. This is a good game. And what can you say? Hey, everyone, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate your time, and I'll catch you all later on.